Hey, what's going on everybody? Jamie McDonald here. And I just wanted to put together a quick video to show you how to update the firmware on your Olympus OMD camera. I did a show tonight, part of my Mirrorless Minutes podcast with uh, my co-host Mike Baining. And sadly, that show did not broadcast live. And uh, I know that some of my subscribers don't watch the podcast. And I just wanted to share what we went over on that show. Uh, we, We did the show literally an hour before the firmware was available for these cameras. So we couldn't show it uh, actually how, what the whole process works like. And I figured doing it this way, I can do a screen share so you can actually see how this works. Um, Tonight is the night that the 4.0 firmware launched for the Olympus OMD EM1 and also the 2.0 firmware for the OMD EM5 Mark II. And That's the camera that I've got right here is the EM5 Mark II. And this is the one I'm going to update. Same process for the OMD EM1. Super simple. First, uh, start off with your Olympus cable. You need to find that wherever you stash that away after you got your camera. You need that for this uh, process. Locate the the connecting port on your camera, which on the EM5 Mark II is right here. Plug in said cable. So I have the cable plugged in. All right. I'm going to turn the camera on. And it recognizes that the cable is in. And the very top selection here says storage. We're going to hit OK. And enable that. Which basically enables you access to the uh, the storage onboard on the camera where the firmware resides. Now we're going to launch uh, the Olympus Updater software. Which I just downloaded the latest version of and you just follow the directions on the screen we'll click next it's connecting to the camera and i'm going to stay with you for the entire process and it can be a little lengthy Um, and it shows us right here that uh, a newer firmware is available and it's highlighted on the omd em5 mark ii current version is 1.1 the new version is 2.0 and uh, I actually have a 1.0 software on the uh, the 25 millimeter f 1.8, which is mounted to the camera, and there is a 1.1 firmware version for that as well. I'm going to do the camera first, so I will click on. I make sure it's highlighted. Okay, click update, and it says once it's updated, it cannot be returned to the previous version. Are you sure you want to continue? Heck yes, because this adds some really cool features to the camera. So I'm going to click yes read through all of the blah 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 because <laughs> that's what I call license agreements the blah 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 I'll agree to it and now it's downloading the firmware at a ridiculously fast pace um, yay Comcast I guess whatever um, now this is the part where people if they're going to make a mistake this is where they're gonna make it, it says do not disconnect the camera from the computer until the update is complete and you will know that the update is complete on the camera because on the back of the camera and I will show you there will be big gigantic white letters that say okay and at that point you can turn the camera off and unplug it if you do that before it says okay it is not okay you will be kind of screwed you'll actually have to send your camera in to Olympus and they will have to flash firmware onto the uh, the read only or the the chip in your uh, camera it's not something you can do at home. Uh, at least I don't know a way to do it. And I've done research online, you know, because I've had numerous people call me and message me panicked saying, oh my gosh, how can I fix this at home? You can't. And I apologize for that. It's just how it is. It's kind of like if you were doing a, um, if you're updating the BIOS on a motherboard on your computer for those who are tech savvy enough to do something like that. Um, if you have a power outage in the middle of that update, your motherboard is pretty much shot. Uh, At least with the camera, if you screw up somehow by unplugging it early or if your batteries go dead, uh, which I should have mentioned at the beginning, make sure you have fresh batteries because you don't want your camera to turn off at any point. Um, So at least with a camera, you're not totally out of luck. You can send it back to Olympus and uh, have the the firmware fixed. And I'm sure, I don't know if, if there's a charge incurred by doing that or not. I'm guessing that there probably is. Um, So again, I cannot stress it enough. Do not turn off the camera. Do not disconnect the camera. Pray you do not have a power outage at your house. Your batteries don't go dead, whatever. This camera needs to stay connected until you see the words okay. 
And I will stop talking about that right now because I don't want to get you stressed out thinking that you can't do this update because it is super easy. I'm just sitting here talking to you while it's doing the update. And it can take a little while, and that's what fools a lot of people. I've had numerous people tell me, you know, I waited five or six minutes or seven minutes, and it and it had to have been done. Maybe I just missed where it said okay, so I turned off my camera, and now it's broken. <clears throat> um, and no, it wasn't. So here, I'll show you on the screen. Um, you can see this displayed on the back. This is actually the part right now where the firmware is being installed on the camera. Do not disconnect at this point and I'm being like super gentle so that I don't accidentally unplug it because I don't feel like sending my camera in to have it fixed it'd be embarrassing and that was fast see the big white letter saying okay it is okay so we will turn off the camera disconnect it I will turn the camera back on and I will go into the menu and I'll go all oh, oops geez got out of control here all the way down to the bottom on the little wrench icon and we'll go down to where it says firmware push over to the right we are at 2.0 how easy was that it was really super easy and i'll tell you what i will probably stop recording this video and i'm going to do the update for the lens because you know what i'll be honest with you oops i just shot a photo i honestly didn't realize that there was an update for this lens so there you have it folks super easy it is uh, as simple as plugging in the cord hitting ok following the steps waiting for the big white ok on the back of your screen that simple all right so you guys take care um thanks a lot for tuning in and watching these videos it is much appreciated if this helped you give it a thumbs up share it with people who might need the help uh till the next video you guys take care bye